I used to think that if I made enough videos like this where I talk about 2K, this needs to improve here, this needs to improve there, if they just do this, that the game would be beautiful and perfect. And if I just gained enough followers, maybe I'd have enough influence to make that happen. Then I came to the stark realization that I really didn't matter. <laughs> I can make a hundred thousand videos with the perfectest solutions on planet Earth, but they were not going to be implemented for reasons that I've discussed plenty of times in videos before. But because 2K20 is like a few months away, I want to talk about some of the things that I hope is going to be in the game. I'm going to message some developers. Hopefully, some of the features can make it in because I guarantee you if they do it, bro, the game is going to be exciting to play. I'm in LA right now. I'm not home, so I'm recording this. What's up, Davis? Hi. All right, so I'm making a video about 2K20. Okay. What's the thing you want to see most? My face in the game. What? Before we get into that, this video is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, of course, is the app that helps making buying tickets easier and more affordable. Are you going to an event? SeatGeek.com. Search up a ticket. They have the best prices, and they categorize it in a way that makes it easy to understand. It's the best UI in the game. You're going to find the best prices. Go link in the description. At the very top of the description, use code AGENT at checkout to get $20 off your first purchase. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Before I talk about some of the things I want to improve, I want to talk about what 2K19 did correct. Because coming off 18, you literally could have done anything and it would have been better. 18 was depressing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I actually recorded a video before I left Atlanta where I played 2K18 for 24 hours, or at least I tried to. Uh, if that's not out, I'm gonna link it in the description or it's coming soon, sometime soon. I don't know what the upload schedule is looking like, guys. Load times. In 17, it was atrocious. 18, a little bit better, but still fucking horrible. In 19, the load times were down dramatically, so we weren't sitting in menus trying to get to where we wanted to go to for too long. Next thing is the park events. The park events were straight too. They weren't perfect, and were there delayers winning most of them? Yes. But it was a steady dose of content, and for the first five, six months of the game's launch, people were actually gassed to participate in them. So they just have to make it last a little bit longer and make it a little bit more fair and add some more. Add some more throughout the year, 2K. The servers were better. I know, listen, 17, do you guys remember Park After Dark? Or literally anything they tried. An absolute disaster. The latency was out of control. Folks was lagging out. Players were being deleted left, right, center. In 18, the matters were, it was better, but it was marginally better. It was still flat out horrible relative to every other video game on the planet. In 19, they were better across the board. Some park events, absolutely brutal, yes. So 2K, I don't want like another one of those small steps for 20, not one of those. We want a big leap, step your game up, and protect your servers, 2K. I don't know how Amazon is letting this stuff fly. If 2K is using Amazon Web Services to, to host their servers, and they're being attacked by people DDoSing the servers every single day, how is Amazon not pissed about that? That is their property. You should be trying to protect it. At least try something. Uh, but the servers have been a thing forever. You know, back when I really started to play 2K, back in 2K10, servers were asked. 2K11, ass, 12, 13. They've been ass forever. I'd be pretty delusional to think 2K20 would be the year where out of nowhere the servers just got miraculously better. I just hope they get marginally. I, listen, I'll take anything at this point. The gameplay was straight, the level design was, whoever the art director was for 2K19, give that guy a raise. And whoever the art director was for 2K18, fire that guy. And if it was the same guy, you stepped your game up, my guy. Good job. The level design was great. I like how the it changes from different times of the day. I never ever got bored of the of looking at the same part. Not in the same way I got bored of 17, they copied and pasted the 16 part. And in 18, it was the greatest, most depressing stuff of all time. <laughs> Phantom sent me a message saying, congrats on 1,050,000 subs, agent. <laughs> Bro, this guy is different. Next up is the online versus the offline grind. If you're leveling up your player, there is no way it makes sense that dudes playing my career should beat you to the punch and then bring their player on the park. You should balance it so that the my career guys level up at the same speed as the park guys. But then, agent, what if people start boosting? Because if you, people just start reporting system, right? This is how it works. Yes, people will try and boost. Reporting system will have those people banned. Use your brains, not difficult solutions. For NBA 2K20, we need the guards to be faster than the centers. The last two 2Ks, <laughs> guards and centers move at the same pace. We have people saying that we shoot over those. That cannot be an option next year. You must be open to shoot or lightly contested. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Damn, yo. Ah! Dribble guys should not be able to move all around the court in three seconds, all right? <laughs> Dribble guys do three moves, Yo. and they have went from the baseline 
to the half court, all the way back to the opposite end of the court. Good dribblers should be able to do those moves. Like, you know how you weren't familiar with those moves. Like, you didn't know you could do them on your center. And only good defenders should be able to defend those. Those guys who were playing were not good, so they couldn't guard the moves. That's okay. There should be a skill gap. There should be something hard to do in the game. Yo. Dude, all that. Let's talk about my team. All right, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> all right, this one's a long shot. Mike Wang, you, you watching this, my guy? Crossplay. Y'all got that? <laughs> Probably not, but it'd be dope though. I was gonna add some stuff in this list for the PC community, but that's a lost cause. Y'all don't even have game chat yet. Honestly, it's crazy because 2K develops the game on the PC. You think they had the futures. It should be the easiest port, but instead they're spending time porting to the Nintendo Switch because it's easy money because anybody that's buying 2K on the Switch is a sucker anyway. I offended like at least 2,000 people that had the game on the Switch. And one of the last things I want to mention is the waiting times on the park. Preposterous. 2K, do something. Remove people's ranks so they don't run away. When I'm playing Rainbow Six, if I knew I was in a lobby with a diamond player and I had someone to be in 10 minutes, I'd have just left. But if I if I just thought it was somebody at my level, I'd stay. What I'm trying to say is, when people see ranks, that's scary, especially for newer players, so they run. Why are you running? Why are you running? It becomes very difficult to get a game for some people. Whether it's a brown shirt because nobody wants to play with a trash player and everybody just perceives him to be trash, or it's a very good player and nobody wants the automatic loss. There's a million solutions and you get paid hundreds of thousands to make it happen. So you can hire some more people and then get those people to brainstorm ideas and then pay those people to implement those ideas. I'm telling you right now, if I had to wait 15, 20 minutes for a park game, I'm not playing park. Period. The fact that that's what some people have to do is crazy. Now, if you don't want to do any of those things, at least add matchmaking. So if you want to play regular park, wait around on the lines, you can do that. But you can have some sort of ranked matchmaking, almost like the way Ruffles does it, where you can be, you just load into a lobby with people at your level and play the game. These aren't difficult. They already have some of those features in, in modes like Ruffles. So it's just implementing better, 2K. You, you, you know that though, because I see an LD tweet about it. They know it's a big problem. That's a mad, that's one of the biggest problems. I don't know how it was this far down on the list. And these last things I want to talk about just have to do with sliders. Turn the steals down. I played 2K for about two minutes flat at that 2K event last year. I, Mike Wang was right beside me. I looked at him, I was like, the steals is too high. I didn't have to play the game more to know. I just knew if I was already feeling it, when I actually got down to play the game, I was gonna hate it. And so they reduced it a little bit after the game came out because people were frustrated, but you need to reduce it a lot more. The steals is ridiculous. It actually makes Pro-Am unplayable. It's not too bad on the park, although at times annoying. On Pro-Am, it's absolutely unbearable. You need to make the shot contest more balanced, flat out. The shot contest is just like, Jesus. I get that that's a contested point and everybody wants it to be implemented in different ways or whatever, but figure it out. That's what you guys get paid to do, man. Call the big decisions and don't mess it up. And the last thing, and this one should be obvious, but for some reason it's not, is ball control should matter. If I'm a lockdown defender and I click square, it should be infinitely easier to steal a ball from another lockdown defender who has a poor ball control rating than a pure playmaker who has like a 94. It shouldn't, it, it's so, what is ball control? Does that stat not matter? From what I understand, the only purpose ball control serves is to hit different tiers of dribbling so you unlock those different animations. When you hit 70, you get tier two. When you hit like 86, you get tier three. The game would be a lot better if it was harder to poke from players that were designed to dribble and vice versa. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There's probably a bunch of things that I missed or didn't talk about. Feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Um, hire more people, implement all of those things and then pay me a 25% royalty. <laughs> I'll say this though, 19 is fun. He brought the community back after 17 was brutal and 18 was just flat out the worst. Like, So to see 19 kind of bounce back felt good because honestly I had no hope coming off 18. Whatever man, there's no point in me saying all this. It's not gonna make a difference anyway. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.